Hello, hi, it's Jim. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to the channel if this is your first time here. We're listening to some music. We're listening to some Spock's beard. This is um, a request from Sidecar Dog uh, for Beware of Darkness. This is uh, Spock's beard. Spock's beard's uh, <laughs> second album. Um, the follow-up to... Uh, whatever, what was it called? Um, the Light. And it came out in 19... Oh, no, it was recorded in 1996. I'm not sure when it came out, but it's uh, been out a while. Anyway, so, yeah, uh, Sidecar Dog requested this a few weeks ago, so I'm sorry it's taken a little while, but yeah, there's, there's a lot to get through, you know. Um, we have on this record... Uh, seven tracks, uh, Beware of Darkness, Thoughts, The Doorway, Chautauqua, Chautauqua, um, Walking on the Wind, Waste Away, and Time Has Come. We've got a few long ones on here. The last song, uh, Time Has Come, is 16 and a half minutes. And we've got uh, a few, two over seven, we've got a seven minute, we've got a, an 11 and a half, a nine minute one. So we've got a few long ones, but we've got a very short one as well. So Chat 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 or I'm sorry, I was an awful pronunciation. Is uh, under three minutes, two minutes forty nine. So it's a little short one. It's uh, produced by Neil Morse and Spock's Beard. So I'm not quite sure why he gets. It must be to do with royalties. So he gets his name on there. Plus Spock's Beard, he gets it twice, doesn't he? Um, and he's written most of the tracks as well, except for Beware of Darkness, was written by George Harrison. Okay. Okay. Yes. Of course it is. Okay, so that's it's a cover. Um, uh, Neil Morse is on lead vocals, piano, synths, acoustic guitar, bazooki, and boring electric guitar parts, apparently. <laughs> Alan Morse is on the really fun electric guitar parts, the actually good ones. <laughs> it, it says this. Uh, cello, vocals, and a Roddy McDowell impression. Wow, there you go. So Dave Meros is on fuzz bass, wild bass, fretless bass. He plays the bass. Sorry, no French horn on this record because we couldn't find one that was in tune. Oh, no! Um, Ryo Okamoto on Hammond organ, draw bar mover par excellence, and the Mellotron uh, mover par excellence, and uh, Nick De Virgilio, uh, drums, percussion, all good sounding high notes on vocals, and coffee cup. We couldn't find a woodblock. Really, we couldn't. That's funny. Um, so, there we go. Um, we're going to split this into a couple of videos. Uh, this first one will be four tracks. So it'll be Beware of Darkness, Thoughts, The Doorway, um, and Chatoqua. Please, somebody tell me how to pronounce that. <laughs> I'm, I'm so sorry. Um, it may even tell me when we get to the song, because they'll be singing it, and I'll, I'll hear the pronunciation at that point. Right. Oh, by the way, if you're still waiting for a video on the uh, pledge uh, thing, there are still a couple to come, so don't worry. I've not forgotten. I just want to crack on and do some of these as well, but uh, there's more to come, okay? Right, with that said, let's get on and listen to some music, shall we? So this first one is Beware of Darkness, and it goes a little bit like this. Three, two, one. That's a sort of Chris Squire bass part, isn't it? It's 
Very yes-like. This is a really good cover.
<laughs> nice. You can hear the very Neil Morse um, sounding music. You hear a lot of this sort of stuff that translates into a lot of his other stuff. You know, the Neil Neil Morse band and Magic Atlanta.
So cool that last piece. Now this is quite a long one, eleven and a half minutes.
You are the door. This is gorgeous. There are little bits of this that sound so much like Yes, but it's sort of mixed in with all manner of other influences as well. Quite a sort of Genesis as well. A little bit of Gentle Giant. Sending my 
Wow! That was the doorway. Now, <sighs> Chatauqua. I'm going with Chatauqua. Isn't that lovely? There, that is the end of this first part. So we had Beware of Darkness, Thoughts, The Doorway, and Chakwata. Um, Chatokwa. Why am I having such problems with that? Anyway, what a lovely selection of music. Um, it's very Neil Morse. It really is. Um, that last one wasn't, but uh, the that big piece, the doorway, was was very very the big parts that you'd recognise very much as being his signature sound. But within that, so many influences from Yes and from Genesis and from Gentle Giant and uh, ELP, for example. I mean, there's just there's loads coming. They really are drawing on that that 70s proggy sound and. Um, and bringing it sort of right up to date, even it's, 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 oh, it's lovely, lovely, lovely. I say right up to date. This is quite, actually quite old, isn't it? What does it say? It's a ninety ninety six. Ah, three years shy of being thirty years old itself. So it's no spring chicken, right? I'm enjoying this. I'm enjoying this. It's uh, it's it's kind of. Uh, sounding a bit more, I suppose, sort of not raw is the wrong sound, but sort of less less polished than some of the more modern Spock's beard, um, and I think that's probably a not a symptom, but as as a result of where they were in the career. So it's very early on. They are um, got another new player in the band uh, on. Is it Ryo? Um, yeah, Ryo 
Okamoto. Um, so I think he's new in the band on this album. I might be wrong. I might be wrong. But uh, but yeah, no, it's, this is really cool. Um, we have another three tracks to listen to, so they'll be on the next thing. So we have Walking on the Wind, Waste Away, and Time Has Come. And we've got two, two of these are quite long, one very long. Time Has Come is 16 and a half minutes, and Walking on the Wind is nine. Uh, waste away. Just a, a mere five and a half minutes. <laughs> so we've got more listen, music to listen to. I'll see you on the next video whenever and whatever that is. Until then, this is Jim Over and... Out.